Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. In this video today, we're going to be going over the new free-to-play Piccolo. He is the Extreme Z Awakened version of Piccolo. This will not be an event team building guide. This is going to be like a Namekian category slash uh, who he links best with guide. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm honestly, I wasn't thinking about doing it for the actual event. It doesn't really, I really didn't think it needed it. So you probably, I'm probably not going to do a video on it. Honestly, just bring your mono technique teams, your best mono technique teams to the event. Uh, it could be super, it could be extreme, it could be both. And you should be able to take on the event without any issues as long as you have really decent, powerful units. Because it, it literally, he is not, he doesn't do damage reduction. The actual easy A event doesn't do damage reduction to super or extreme and um you are for technique types so just bring that technique team and you'll be fine um but let's go over the event let's go ahead and jump into it before we start please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and help show your support of the channel um so this is a warrior in his homeland piccolo this is a free-to-play piccolo that is going to be available from the fearsome ginyu event uh you're going to go over here to this level you honestly beat all the levels you get a whole bunch of zenny um level three is where you can get the piccolo and the orbs to 100 percent him so go into that event Try not to pick out a super attack 10. Um, when you unlock one do path, you will start getting mission rewards and you'll be able to unlock all four do paths. So as soon as you get one, get them to TUR if you want to go that route. And then um, once you do that, just feed the second dupe that you get of him into one of the do paths and you'll just be able to go one, two, three, four through the mission rewards. Um, outside of that, um, let's jump into the actual unit and we'll talk about everything here. Super attack is special beam cannon. Uh, extreme damage to the enemy, passive skill, blood of the Namekians. It's kind of like, that's, that's, that's like crazy. Uh, attack and defense plus 40%, attack plus 10%, and key plus one addition for a rainbow key orb obtained. Eh, that's kind of whack. Link skills are Brainiacs, experienced fighters, Z fighters, Namekians, a gaze of respect and shocking speed. He's part of a planet, Namek Saga, Namekians, and Resurrected Warriors categories. Uh, max stats are HP of 5700, attack of 6382, and defense of 2798. Really, really crappy for an SSR, free to play SSR. But then again, when you get him 100% in the dupe system, it definitely kind of makes up for it. Uh, max uh, dupe system is going to be HP of 9700, attack of 10,382, and defense of 6798. Kind of worth it, in my opinion. Um, he's a pretty decent unit. 12 key multiplier is 125%, which is super low. Because rainbow key orb do, do not burst other rainbow key orbs, you can only collect a maximum of 5 at once. Meaning the maximum possible boost from rainbow key spheres is key plus 5 and attack plus 50. So that that's really crappy. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's more than a 90% buff. Uh, it's you, you calculate the attack plus 40% first, and then you do the additional attack plus 50 at most. So your key is your your attack's not just going to be 90%. It's going to be over 100%. Um, his special he is special requires his own potential orbs. Total you need 6,540 small orbs, 3,530 medium orbs, and 346 large orbs. Go over to the wiki. Shout out to the wiki. Uh, to find out exactly how many you need in case you need to hold it on your phone take a screenshot or whatever that's how many you need i would highly recommend getting the metal the, the actual orbs first and then going to the event uh, well, then going to the card and feeding them into it uh he will doken awaken from with five metals those metals are going to be available on stage level uh six six guru in peril you're gonna go ahead and get them um get five you're gonna need to get uh, five of them to doken awaken him you're gonna you will need to get another five for the super attack five uh piccolo Trust me, you will have more than enough of those Piccolos to get a, a second Super Attack 5 one. For when you're done with the easy Extreme Z Awakening, you're going to feed a second one into himself until the Super Attack 5. Then you're going to go ahead Z Awaken him, Doken Awaken him, and just have him on standby for when you finish the easy A so you can do Super Attack level 15. Uh, once you've done that, as you see over here, leader ability on the left, leader ability on the right, um, we're going to go over the Z Awaken stuff. <clears throat> I don't think the stats, the stats do not reflect the Extreme Z Awakening. So apologies about that. Um, I guess I'll go onto the wiki, the, the uh, dbz.space for that. Leader Z ability is Namekian category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, which is alright. Um, agility type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. He does supreme damage to the enemy and raises defense by 30% for one turn. Uh, passive Z skill, or his passive skill is attack and defense plus 60%. Um, attack plus 12% and key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key orb obtained. Assimilate when conditions are met. Link skills are Z Fighters, Experienced Fighters, Namekians, Brainiac, Shocking Speed, Gaze of Respect, and Shattering Limit. Same categories. And his max uh, uh, fully opened up do system, dupe system is HP of 10,179, attack of 10,661, and defense of 7,008. 12 key multiplier is 
Assimilation. Piccolo assimilates with Nail starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle. Um, so that's pretty much it. So get to the fifth turn. Um, get him up to Super Tech level 15 as well. So uh, Super Tech level can go up to 15, but only through Extreme Z Awakening with special medals from the Extreme Z Battle event. Click on any of the medals for a detailed overview. After Z Awakening, his animation Super Tech damage dealt indicator will slightly change, but he'll work as normal unit. Because Rainbow Key, Spheres do not burst, blah, blah, blah. We already talked about that. Um, oh, here we go. Here are the actual uh, stats for when you get him maxed out uh, for the from the dupe system with Extreme Z Awakening. So when he gets Extreme Z Awakened, it's uh, HP of 12,263, attack of 12,908, and defense of 8,023. Not bad. When he is assimilated, it looks like he's doing um, some pretty cool stuff. Supreme damage, raises defense by 30% for 3 turns, recovers 30% HP. It's only one time, though. He changes agility key orbs to rainbow, which is actually a detrimental to other units on the team. Just keep that in mind. Uh, attack and defense plus 70%. Uh, attack plus 15% and key plus 3 in addition uh, and recovers 18,000 HP per rainbow key orb obtained. Now that's cool and everything. Just remember that if you have any other units that need those agility orbs, they're going to kind of suffer for that. Um, link skills are going to remain the same. Categories are going to remain the same. We already talked about the stats. Um, this happens from the fifth turn of the battle. There's really nothing, uh, there's really nothing else there to talk about. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the linking guide slash team building guide. Overall, he's a cool free-to-play unit. I'm not going to really run him too much. I mean, there's not even a real reason to have a Namekian category team. All the Nemeki there's no Namekians. Um, best linking guide, uh, best linking buddy in-game is the Baba Shop Great Saiyan Man. Uh, with Brainiac, Z Fighter, Shocking Speed, Shattering Limit. So that's 4 key and 25% attack buff. In terms of Mono Intelligence team, we already talked about Great Saiyan Man. The LR Goten and Trunks for 3 link skills. Those link skills are going to be Z Fighter, Shocking Speed, Shattering Limit, LRTN, and Shiaotu, which is Z Fighter, Shocking Speed, Shattering Limit, and the Goku, the Spirit Bomb Goku, which is pretty sure it's the same thing. Experience Fighter, Z Fighter, Shattering Limit. So that one's actually a little bit better because you get 25% attack buff and two key. Um, that's for a mono agility team if you're running a mono agility team. We're switching over now. He is, what is he part of? The Resurrected. This is the Planet Namek Saga. So we have Planet Namek Saga up over here. You have the Gohan, who he links with for three link skills. This is the other EZA Gohan. Uh, Z Fighter's Gaze of Respect, Shattering Limit, so four key, 15% attack buff. Um, the Goku over here from the third year anniversary, Z Fighter, Shattering Limit. The new Kaioken Goku, which is, well, I say new, but you know, you might be watching this year in advance. The one that came out alongside the Transformation Goku and Vegeta. Uh, Goku and Frieza, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, that Kaioken Goku for Z Fighters and Shocking Speed. The Super Saiyan Rage Goku from the Planet Namek arc when he went and uh, went Rage against Frieza. Uh, Z Fighter Shining Limit, and then you have the Ginyu Force, which all three of them are the same thing. Uh, they all three share Brainy Action Shattering the Limit. Um, Brainy Action Shattering Limit and Shocking Speed and Shattering Limit for a bird. I knew there was one of them that was a little bit different, actually. So that's for the Planet Namek Saga. Um, I don't really think you're going to really want to run any of these guys together on a team, but if you do, you can definitely have them. Piccolo is free to play and, and is easily rainbowed. Uh, the next one will be Resurrected Warriors, because we're saving the Planet Namek stuff, or the Namekian stuff, because he's a Namekian leader. Uh, so for movie bosses, not movie bosses, uh, for Resurrected Warriors, he links with the two Tapions for two and for two links and Metacora. So Metacora is Shocking Speed, Shattering Limit, and the two Tapions are Brainiacs, Experienced Fighters, and Brainiacs and Experienced Fighters, so 20% attack buff. That's who he links with on the Resurrected Warriors team. Again, I don't recommend running him on the Resurrected Warriors team, but if you do, those are the ones you're going to want to link with him if you're trying to keep Piccolo on that team to see how much damage he could possibly do. I mean, that may be cool, I guess, to, to go onto an event with a double Resurrected Warrior leader and having, like, the Tech Tapion right alongside of him and uh, for those attack for the ridiculous attack buffs, letting him get to the transformation with uh, Nail and maybe getting uh, some other key orb manipulators so that way it's nothing but rainbow orbs on the, on the field to see how hard he can actually hit. Uh, moving over to the Namekians team building guide, uh, in terms of best linking buddies on Namekians, I mean, he only shares one link skill with all three of these different people. You have um, Demon King Elder Piccolo for one link skill, which is Shattering the Limit. Um, they're all Actually, all three of them are Shattering the Limit. Demon King Piccolo, which is, yes, Shattering the Limit. And Kami, which is Shattering the Limit. So he only shares two key with all these, no attack buffs, no nothing. In terms of him on a Namekians team, even though he's a Namekian leader, he kind of sucks. Um, though he is one of the most powerful ones on the actual team. So, uh, actually, he's not, he's not really, for, for Namekians overall, he's not. But because you can't run any of the other Piccolos on this team with you, you're kind of SOL. Luckily for me, personally, I have all three of these guys. So, that's what you, I'll at least have someone to link with. In terms of the team building guide, um, 
I, I don't want to say this is a, a definitive team building guide. Um, <clears throat> for Namekians, this is who I would run if I'm running a double double team. Uh, you have the Elder King Piccolo and the regular King Demon King Piccolo. They share six link skills together, which is really nice. Uh, Demon, uh, Strength and Unity, the Incredible Adventure, and Shining Limit, which is a total of six keys, so guaranteed super attacks, and a 30% uh, attack buff between Nightmare and Guidance of the Dragon Balls. Very, very nice. Uh, on the bottom rotation we have over here, we have Kami. Let me switch over to the Dokkan Battle Builder view. That way you guys can see a little bit better. You have Kami and you have uh, Piccolo Jr. Giant Form for three Link Skills. Strength and Unity, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls for 20% Attack Buff and 3 Key. Um, and some of you might not have him. It's the regular Piccolo Jr. He's not that great. He just has a rare chance to stun the enemy. Uh, some of you who do have him from back in the day. Uh, hey, awesome. I would run him on the team just to help. Just because I have him. Um, he doesn't really link with anyone over here. If you're going to run him, I guess you would run him against the uh, Piccolo Jr. Giant form. They do share three links, which is Demon, Big Bad Bosses, and Strength and Uni. So two key and 25% attack buff when HP drops below. Um, you have the Easy A Piccolo. And then I just threw Nail up in here too, because Nail is there. He only has one link skill with two different people. Um, and that is Cold Judgment and Namekians. Recover 5% HP. Um, so that's pretty much it. You figure you would see more Namekian link skills, but that's better. We need to get an actual nail up in here, um, and some of these other guys that are over here. Even the Universe 6, or the Universe Survival, so yeah, those Universe 6. The Universe 6 Namekians need to have their own freaking cards, so that way we could actually make this category a little bit more viable, because, I mean, guys, I have SRs in here. I literally have two SRs and an SSR for placement. Gosh damn, you know, Bandai, Itatsuki... Please give us some more Namekians in this game. We need some Namekians. Holy crap. But anyway, guys, that is it for the team building guide. Uh, honestly, to be legit, I probably would not run the Demon King Piccolo. I'd keep him over there. I think Nell recover 10% HP when HP, when HP is 50% or below. That's a lot better of a passive than the Demon King Piccolo. So or, uh, I would just run him, and then I'd have the other Piccolo on there. Um, honestly, these guys aren't really that great, because Kami's passive skill, all allies, he's, he's a buffer. Um, so, I mean, I guess he would be cool for the for this Piccolo, but all enemies attack minus 12%, so it's not like he's going to be doing a lot of damage. And, I mean, yeah, th there's really nothing you could do here. I mean, I guess th these are going to be the only... Th none of them do a ridiculous amount of damage, and that's what makes this team so garbage. Because while the link skills are there and the, pan the support units are there, there's really no one doing damage except for this Piccolo, but no one links with him. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Let me know how the disgust you have for this team down in the comments below, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.